Well, students, we're gonna take these rectangles that we talked about, and we're gonna create um, three rectangles out of each. So we're gonna get like a big, medium, and small out of the blue, same thing, a big, medium, and small out of the red, a big, medium, small out of the gray, and so forth. So I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna just cut a large rectangle and I can start organizing it to figure out where these might look good. Um, we are practicing parallel and perpendicular lines, so I'm gonna just try my best to keep these nice and straight. So that's gonna give me a big, a medium, and a small. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get a big one here. And I think I'm gonna have this one go this way. I might have to rearrange them and change them a little bit. And then I think on this one, I'm gonna go like this. So it's already good to start figuring out how you can organize these and place these. So as Mondrian, Piet Mondrian, created his piece of artwork on Broadway Boogie Woogie, it's a bird's eye view of a city. So these are kind of like my, my larger buildings. Um, I'm gonna lay this one here for a minute. We'll see if that ends up turning out okay. And then we'll take this one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get, um, I'm just gonna kind of see if that'll fit there. I'm gonna do a big one here. And then, I'm gonna see here, what can I get here? So I'll go maybe with that small here and move this over just a little bit. Make a space here for this one. Um, and then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna go this way with it. I'm kinda trying to figure out how big these pieces are gonna need to be. Um, so now I have three out of each. Um, that's gonna give me um, 12 rectangles. Now, if you end up having something that is too big to fit somewhere, um, like I could move this up and fit this one down here. Like this one doesn't have a whole lot of, um, uh, there's not really a good space for it. So if I need to end up trimming a little bit of extra, or I could also just rearrange these and move them around a little bit and maybe go with something like this, like that might work. And then I could probably go like this and this would end up being, I'm getting um, four pieces out of that one instead of three, just because I didn't have room for it, okay? So that would be okay if you need to trim one, but for the most part, three rectangles out of each should work. Once you organize them and you know where you want them to go, then I would like you to, um, to put them uh, on your paper with glue. So here I'm going to, oh, one other thing. If you do cut one and it's just like slightly too big or you have a problem where you have like a line that's not super straight, um, it's okay to fix it. Um, I would rather that you do that but one of the goals here is not to have a lot of scrap. So if I did need to trim that edge out and I do have like a little tiny scrap, that's okay. But I would like you to try to use all your papers. When you're gluing stuff, please make sure that you just turn your glue up just a little bit. Um, and I'm just gonna take one set of rectangles off or I'm thinking like one set of buildings off at a time. And so here I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna glue the middle, I'm definitely looking to see that you're gluing the edges well. You will get a little bit of glue on the table um, and I will wipe that off later. So please make sure that you just glue around the edges. Make sure these are parallel, meaning that they're straight. So they are lined up with the edge and it's nice and straight. And then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna press that down. Then once I press that one down, then I'm gonna take my next one I'm gonna glue the middle of this one, these smaller pieces. Um, definitely glue the middle and the edges. I would not put it on here crooked like that. Please make sure that they're lined up and they're nice and straight. Um, 
and then that will show me your knowledge of parallel and perpendicular line. Once I have that one done, then I would take this one off. If this spot starts to get kind of sticky, then move to a new spot on your table. Um, just so you don't get glue on the top sides of these. I would never put glue on the um, white paper. I'm always putting glue on the back of the rectangle. And it's nice that this is organized because then I can see exactly where I want all my pieces to go. Um, something that I def I'll do one more. Um, I'll just do one more here and then we'll call it good. I'm gonna move this over to another spot. Glue those middle, the uh, middle, glue the edges. Um, if a little bit of glue gets caught under here like this, just wipe that off so you don't get glue on the top of your piece. Um, and I noticed as well that I got a little bit of glue um, caught and it's right here on the table. I could take that and put that onto this piece so I'm not wasting the glue. Um, and you can also see that my glue stick is still just up just a little bit. Something I don't wanna see, please don't put it on here like this. If you're doing this, it's not gonna glue well. It's gonna get glue on your fingers. So please set it on the table, glue the middle, glue your edges, line it up. I think I'll go that way. And make sure things fit. This one's really close to almost not fitting. If it were uh, too long, I would just trim it off and make it fit. So I would continue working this until I get all of these glued down. Um, and then next week we'll add more overlapping. We'll add our roads to, to our uh, cityscape. So let's have fun working on these.